breaking, the Biden State Department is withholding. So they're they're just dripping out information. I wonder when it all. I wonder when the faucet will be fully opened up. Anybody want to guess? I think it'll be post January twentieth, mm-hmm. right? And and oh, by the way, if Kamala wins, it'll be never. So right now they're dripping it out, just trying to play the odds on both sides. I believe that it could turn Biden versus Biden because Hunter Hunter's thinking I'm I'm willing to spend a little time in custody, but if you're if you're not going to pardon me, Daddy, remember him on the CF, CEFC call, mm-hmm. then the CF, uh, what is that called? WhatsApp. Yeah, what's up? I'm standing here with my daddy, and he better send me my next five million dollars. Or there's or you you can't even possibly uh, you're not possibly able to understand the amount of revenge that me and my father could take against you as he spoke to a person who later disappeared. Uh, withholding fo- that's all from China. The, the, so the Biden State Department is withholding FOIA letters Hunter Biden wrote on behalf of Burisma. Why why aren't you releasing that? Everyone practicing evil hates the light. Does not come to light lest their deeds be exposed. Why would you not release it? I mean, again, just I, I would love. It, I wish they. I wish somebody would book me on one of these shows because I wouldn't. I wouldn't get lost in the minutia. I would just simply repeat the same question in a real annoying way, like your little sister, your little brother used to do. Used to do. Why won't you release the letters? Why won't you release the letters? Why won't you release the letters? Just give me an explanation. Why won't you release the letters? Why did Joe Biden use how many pseudonyms he use, Aaron? Do you remember oh, in his governmental emails? Dozens. I don't know how many it was. I don't remember. Tons of them. Yeah. Pseudonyms. You know, Stingray fifty seven and all that stuff. Tell me why? Why did Joe Joe Biden use pseudonyms? Why did Joe Biden use pseudonyms? Why did Joe Biden use pseudonyms? Why did Joe Biden? What, 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 just a question for the State Department. Just a question for the FBI. Why is it that Joe Biden was on a conference call with the then president of Ukraine with Hunter? Because all of this is recorded. So Joe Biden was notified by his staff five minutes to the call from the president of Ukraine, the president before Zelensky, just a call coming in five minutes to the call. Are you and Hunter ready? Why was that? This is when he was vice president. Explain to me. I mean, explain to me again. I'll just do the same thing. Explain to me the call. Explain to me the call. Why is it that your crack addict son? Why was your crack addict son on a phone call with you? to the president of Ukraine while you were vice president. Can anybody explain that to me? Yeah. Just give me a reasonable explanation. Aaron, I want to know. Aaron, can you explain it to me? Das, can you explain it to me? Somebody <laughs> just explain it to me. Joe Biden used 5,400 pseudonym emails. Yeah. He, he, he sent 5,000 emails with fake names, 5,400 emails with fake names. Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> That's as the president of the United States. He sent 5,400 emails under, I can't remember the names now, Stingray, when that, yeah, that funky name that he had too. I can't remember now. It's been too long since we've talked about it. But anyway, uh, something, oh gosh, I can't remember. It's almost on the, tip of my, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. But anyway, so right now they're withholding FOIA letters Hunter, uh, Hunter Biden wrote on behalf of Burisma as an unregistered foreign agent, felonious crime, in violation of federal laws. The White House has been uh, directly involved in FOIA clearance process. So leave this up for me, Ness. So we need to understand the process here. The White House is slow dripping information to the New York Times, but very, very, in a very controlled fashion, slow dripping this information to the New York Times, controlling it the entire time, just giving enough right now for some measure of butt covering so that the New York Times can say, hey, look, we reported it. Uh, this, this, by the way, New York Times, anybody watching from the New York Times, we already knew about this over two, three years ago. Everybody's already known. So you just look very stupid. Oh, there it is. Robert L. Peters. Mm-hmm. There's some of the names. This is some of his pseudonym names. Robert L. Peters, Robin Ware, J.R.B. Ware, Stingray 67, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 5,400 5, emails that Joe Biden sent with pseudonym names, hiding them. <laughs> I mean, this is the Democratic Party. Right, let's find how many emails. Let's find out how many emails uh, Donald J. Trump sent using pseudonyms. Oh, uh, that would be 0.0. So 0.0 versus 5,400. And, and, and people still vote Democrat. See, people still think Democratic Party's full of integrity. But the White House has been the one directly involved in FOIA clearance process concerning these incriminating emails. So again, these are the criminals who are allegedly watching or deciding on the prosecution's or the investigations of criminals. Now, uh, this is, Aaron, you won't get this because you were never a cop. This is very deep. Mm. Daz, you won't get this because you're never a cop. Mm. You know who you don't want investigating their own criminality? The criminal. <laughs> you told you guys wouldn't get that level of depth. Yeah. You wouldn't get that, that deep, would you? Yeah. You know, all my years, 25 years of law enforcement, deputy sheriff, right where I'm sitting right now, 
I have never relinquished my law enforcement duties as a criminal investigator, and I was just a just a street level guy, but I would have never relinquished my investigative duties to the person I'm investigating. But that's what the White House is doing. The White House gets to decide because get this, Joe Biden is the and again, here's another deep thought. Would you if you if the son was the criminal, would you put in charge of the investigation of the criminal, the father of the criminal? That's exactly what's happening at the White House right now. The person that is that is running this investigation is part of the crime and is the father of the criminal. Yep. That's our system right now. And and people it just amazes me. I'm going to try not to go down this wormhole because we played that little matrix piece at the end where I mean with with Neo, it's just amazing to me that there are Republicans, the people that have left, like Dan, uh, Ken Buck and the idiots like that, Mitt Romney, and whether they truly believe it or not, they're just globalist stooges, I don't know. But they still believe in the matrix. Like, the FBI is authentic. Like, the, like the State Department is, is, is integral. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they, they either are choosing to be stupid or are stupid, and there is no third choice. Yeah. Choosing to be stupid or are just actually stupid human beings to believe the FBI will ever give you a fair shake in any investigation. And by the way, simply because you comply doesn't mean they're going to give you a fair shake in any investigation. It's just whatever behooves them at the moment. All right, let's go to the next one. As Nick Sorter video. KG, don't worry. KGP is on the case. Kareen Jean, yeah, she is on the case. Don't worry. We have this transparent media outlet in the White House. The White, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. Don't worry. You know, America is all about free speech. America is all about transparency, where our government works for, uh, for and by the, uh, by the people, for the people. That's our government. We have Karine Jean-Pierre here speaking for Joe Biden, speaking for the White House uh, in, in reference to these emails that have now, I mean, the, 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 these communications that are now very clear from Hunter Biden lobbying the White House lobbying the government on behalf of Burisma, the board that he sat on, that he got between eighty and hundred thousand dollars a month to sit on, which was a natural gas company, a fossil fuel company, which of, of which he has absolutely no experience, no expertise, no valuable opinion whatsoever. But he sat on their board yeah. for eighty thousand dollars a month, eighty grand a month, and he was lobbying. Now, again, according according to Tony Bobulinski, and according to Hunter Biden himself, according to Frank Biden or James Biden or Valerie Biden, one or all. The brand that they were selling, because we know they had 23 shell companies that offered no goods or services. So the brand that they were selling, and imagine this. I spoke earlier to my brothers in, my brothers in prison right now. My brother's there at the uh, high, high Desert State Prison. These guys are in prison for whatever they did, and Joe Biden's walking around with 23 shell companies that have never produced a good or a service, ever. Yep. And they were peddling they were influence peddling. Well, Joe Biden can never be proved that he received a dime. Influence peddling doesn't matter whether Biden ever received a dime, which, by the way, we know he received at least 10%. We got that. At least 10% for the big guy. And up to 50% according to Hunter Biden's laptop, right? We already know that. Yep. So, but it doesn't matter whether he ever received a dime. It is against the law to influence peddle for yourself. In other words, use your government position to financially benefit yourself. Here's the caveat. Or your family. Anytime he influence peddled for himself or his family. So if he got nothing and Hunter Biden got a hundred million, it's as if Joe Biden got the hundred million. That's the freaking law.